In this video, I'll be guiding you guys on how to fix Fortnite crashes. So let's get started. Now in this video, we're gonna look at two main methods that might fix your issue. Alright, so let's get started with our first method which is in-game. So all you have to do is click escape and go to your settings. Now once you're here, you're gonna see many options. So first, op first way you have to do is that you have to ensure that your rendering mode is in performance lower graphics all right you have to make sure that you're not using direct x11 or direct x12 because they take too much um memory space so what you have to do is you have to select this option performance one and you'll have to restart your game for this to apply well let's look at some other options as well now here as you can see your frame rate limit now i would advise you guys to keep it as minimal as possible then never put this at unlimited. Well, basically the most common one is 60 hertz, and I would recommend you to go with this option because if you're using 144 and your screen doesn't even support 144 hertz, it's just gonna make crash more possible. So I'm just gonna keep it at 60 hertz. Well, let's scroll down and see some more options. Now I think that under this graphics quality is where the main thing comes in. Now, as you can see, my 3D resolution right now is at 100%. Now, I would advise you guys to keep it around, let's say, 40% or even 35%. So, what this is going to do is it's going to make your graphics bad. I'm just going to show you in a second. So, I'm just going to apply this. Now, if I go back, as you can see, my graphics have certainly decreased from before. And, and you can see that the game quality has also improved because my FPS is better now. So I'm just going to go back and let's explore some new options as well. Now, if I scroll down, as you can see that there are many other options as well. For example, view distance, I have ensured that I keep it near. Even my textures are low. So I've kept everything to its minimum so that there's the least possible lag, okay? Now, this is all there is in the settings tab. Now, I'm going to go ahead and just put my usual settings. All right, perfect. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you settings which are not in the game. So all, I'm just going to close the game and I'm going to open Epic Games Launcher. Now, as you can see in Epic Games Launcher, what you're going to do is I'm just going to wait for the game to end because it's still running. Let me just try to, I just have to wait for it. Okay, so as you can see now, it has stopped running. Now, what you have to do is you have to come to the library tab. Now, once you're here, you're going to click on these three dots and you're going to click on options. No, my bad. You're going to go three dots and click on manage. Now, once you're on this manage option, you're going to see this option of verifying files. Now, what this does is it's going to get rid of all the corrupted files. So what you have to do is you have to click on this and then some kind of installation is going to start on Fortnite. It might take like five to six minutes. So you'll have to go ahead and wait for it. I've already done this several times, so I'm not going to go ahead and do it. But that is how you do it. You're just going to click on this button and it's going to start the installation. So all right, guys, that is it for the video. I've gone over the two methods which most work for me. I know there are many other methods, but these are the two main ones. So all right, guys, that'll be it for the video. I hope it helped you out and I'll be seeing you guys next time. Peace out.